This is Hart's Mercantile Computing Machine. It was made in 1878 by William Hart. It's not a very sophisticated machine, nor is it a very unique machine. I mean, look at all these circular adding devices from the same era. Uh, just kidding. Those are all made by an AI. But there are plenty of real circular adding devices. Now, some of these are patent models that didn't get produced, but the circular trend lasted a while. It lasted all the way to the end. There's a bunch more too. So here's William Hart. He had a bunch of patents to his name, but the one we remember him for today is the mercantile computing machine. So here's my Hart's mercantile computing machine with its original reproduction logo. 350 seems a bit pricey in 1878, about three days labor wage. It's a simple circular brass adding machine made of three circles and on a on a central hub. That little spot there I think is for the models with the wood backing. He used two companies to make different components of the device and consequently there's three company names stamped on the device in slightly different fonts, all very small and hard to read. He sold 3,500 of them and then made a second batch of 1,000. This version doesn't have the company name stamped on it, so it likely came from a different batch, although which is a mystery. That three-leafed metal star is a spring needed for the carry. When I first saw this device in Thomas Russo's book, I could not figure out how it would work, but his was missing an essential component, that stationary arm. His valuation of it seems extremely high as well, even if his had worked. The numbers can be a little hard to read and, and line up, but to add, the user stuck the stylus in next to the number he wanted and rotated it counterclockwise. The user only ever rotated that middle ring. The center ring, he only ever rotated to clear the center ring. Here I'm adding some numbers, and you rotate it till the device, till the stylus slips and stops. As the middle ring rotated, a cam would rotate with it. From friction, the center ring wanted to rotate, but was prevented from doing so by the stationary arm. Once that cam rotated around, it hit the stationary arm, allowing the center ring to advance one space. You can see on this device, I had reset it to zero, but the center ring was at five or four, so obviously my stationary arm slips sometimes. I'll run through some math problems. Addition is pretty easy and doesn't really need to be demonstrated, but Hart's patent demonstrated, or explained rather, how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So his patent has the following problem, which is really divided into three subtraction problems. So first we'll do the first part of the problem, in which we would line the stylus up with 27 and then bring it to the uh, 12 and if you look over at the uh, home spot 15 is the answer so then we would have to write that down and move on to the next problem 12 minus 16 we have to clear the device first and then bring it over to um, the 12 
and then since 16 is bigger and we move it clockwise we look and we see there's 96 so we write down 96 and remember that it had a virtual carry so we clear the device again and go for 23 minus 15 we put it in the 23 spot and the way he explains it is you go to 15 instead of 16 to account for the virtual carry. So that would give us the answer of 7. Multiplication is handled just like you would expect. Hart kind of uh, chickened out and didn't explain how to multiply two very large numbers together. He just multiplied one large number by two. So you just divide the number into double digit numbers, multiply those by two, and remember to add any carries at the end. Division is the most complicated and unhelpful of all. In the following problem, we, which we have to write out according to, to the instructions, we start off with 13 and add it up to 28 the first two numbers of the dividend. When the 28 passes the outer ring 13, then we stop. Here I messed up and I had to add one more. But when I do that, we look at the 28 and we see that it has a remainder of two. So we write down the two remainder and we write down how many times we added 13, both which were twice. Then we bring down the 7, and we repeat all the way to the end of the dividend. You have to clear in between each set of additions. But if you do it all right, and you don't mess up, you get the correct answer, 2,212 and 2 thirteenths. It's hard to say how helpful Hart's mercantile computing machine was, as the user needed paper and crayon for any problem besides addition. Still, that fact didn't stop him from selling 4,500 of them.